OK, so in this session, we're going to discuss about a uh, creation of function module. Uh, this is a, a real time scenario wherein we have to get the sales and material details and calculate the tax based on the cost, based on the cost of the cost of the material. If let's say the cost is less than 50, the tax is applicable tax is 10 percent. And if the cost is more than 50, then the applicable cost is 12 percent and amount. And, and we need to you know, remember that if there is a field of type amount, then it's mandatory that we need to have a complementary field called currency. Without currency field, we cannot have the amount. We cannot describe the amount, something which we have to have. And for that, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, we'll add, we'll first, okay, we are checking the VBAP table. In this, we have to take material, num material number, and then we need to, calculate a minute which we need to also select the NETPR that's a net price and also we need to take into consideration the, uh, the 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 unit and we also have to create a field called tax basically tax isn't there here we need to take it and we need to club that into the final self final uh, internal table so let us go ahead with that now so we'll basically have to have So we will be going ahead and creating the function model. Either we can create the function model from SC37 or SC80. So since we have to anyways come to SC80 for function group, so we have come here. So set. So I'm creating it in as of now local object. We can also create it in a package. So here we can right click on this function group and create a function module. Sales rated material data. So once it's been done, uh, we need to pass pass the material na name uh, or the sales order number, and then we need to get the details of the materials, and we need to also have the calculation of this particular field. So let us first go back to that table and create a structure for this. So we'll create a structure for this. It is T underscore VBAP. We have a structure here. And this we have to go ahead with the, say the component is components are VBELN type. VBELN and then we have MATNR type MATNR and uh, we have something called NETPR net price type NETPR and then we have WARKS WARS type WARS. Now as I told you, like you know, it's very important to have this WARS whenever we have the NETPR because you know the amount should be complemented with the cost. And No, it's correct only. WARS is correct. Currency key. Okay. 
OK, so we need to have a reference field. So reference field, we need to have the reference fields. We need to go to currency field, currency fields here. And in the currency, we need to mention here the field VBAP. Say ZST underscore VBAP WAERS. It's mandatory. So we need to go to the currency, currency and quantity fields, and then we need to maintain this. It's very important. So without that, we cannot activate it. We've taken this as a reference field. And we can also do it like this. So we can directly refer to the reference table field as you know, and directly we can go for VBAP as well. So that will also work. OK, so VBAP, it's not uh, recognizing it. So we need to go ahead with the ZST underscore VBAP. OK. Fine, so once we activate this, we need to go ahead and create a table type. So we need to go ahead and take create a table type because in the latest version, we it's mandatory for us to create a table type here. So said ITVBAP create. We need to go for table type. This and we need to go for said ST underscore VBAP. To activate this. So this is a table type that we have created ZIT underscore VBAP, which we are going to make use of in our in our uh, table program function module program. So here we'll take the input field as VBLN type VBLN and in the export parameters we'll be going for IT VBAP type ZIT underscore VBAP and then uh, we also have to create one more structure here for the you know for another out final output so we go for say something out or we can also say final table type before table type we also have to create a structure right otherwise it So we'll create a structure first. So then we have MATNR is over, and then we'll go up for NTPR. Type NTPR. Then we'll go for WARS. Type WARS. Same thing that we have done just now. WARS. Okay. After this, we need to go for tax. And for this tax, we also have to give the you know type as NETPR only. The type is NETPR. Now in this NETPR, what we need to do is this is also of type NETPR. So it will expect us to have the currency and currency fields for currency fields for both the fields. So this one and this one. So here we need to go ahead with uh, 
the WARs. So ZST underscore ZST underscore VBAP, uh, ZST underscore VBAP underscore F. And the field name is WARs. This needs to be there. Now here we go for import export and export. OK, this is what we'll do is later. It was not saved actually. So the, the reason why we are doing it is because twice, why are we doing twice is because we would like to calculate the tax and update this second table. So basically tax is something which we have to create, uh, you know, right now. So any DPR. So we go for currency. In the currency, we need to give ZST underscore OK, for before that, first we need to save this actually. OK. To go for here, WARS. And no, uh, this should be ZST underscore VBAP underscore F. Type W A E R S. Here also Z S T underscore V B A P underscore F W A E R S. This is something which we need to save and activate. So what we have done here is we have established like you know two uh, two structures and we have created one internal table a table type and we will be creating another table type as well now. So we'll go ahead with I T underscore create table type so we'll go for final sales we'll go for zst underscore pbap underscore underscore f so we just need to activate this so once it's been done we can make use of this zit underscore vbap underscore f also in our function module. So we'll go for zit underscore final, it final. Type zit underscore vbap underscore f. We just need to go for save here. And then we need to write the logic here in the source code. So the logic is something which we'll be writing. Uh, we'll be ba will be basically, you know, taking the input as VBL and the sales order number. Based on that, we'll be selecting the data for into the first table, IT underscore VBL. Then we'll make use of that uh, uh, data and we calculate the tax here. And based on the tax, the tax field, we are, we are going to use it and we are going to update it. And then we are going to, you know, uh, get the final output in the, in, in the second team. So let's do that now. So for that, we'll go for the source code. Select. These are the fields that we have here. 